Brew Review. Good day, everyone. Uh, this is the first episode of a mini series I am calling Sprue Review. From the remarks and the comments on the channel, I've discovered that uh, a lot of my viewers, a lot of my few viewers, uh, actually like me to go slow and go into detail on uh, the details on the features of uh, some of the sprues and unfortunately in some of my uh, minis I don't receive them in the box um, for various reasons uh, so I'd still like to go through them in detail and uh, I'll be doing them in the sprue review and this week, I'll be showcasing the Slanesh Enchantress. Uh, and this is the harp playing uh, miniature that comes in the Wrath and Rapture Chaos Demons box set. So without further ado, I'd like to talk about uh, this, this sprue. And right off the bat, what we can see is the entire model, the entire mini, uh, is contained in one sprue. Um, and it consists of two characters. Uh, one is our uh, poor sod whose nerves have been pulled out of his back into the strings of a harp. And the other is the Herald of Slanesh herself, uh, the uh, en Enrapturous, uh, not Enchantress. I think I got that wrong in the beginning of uh, this video. So uh, you'll see, firstly, that um, our human harp man uh, is separated into, broadly, uh, two halves. That's his back half. And you'll see that uh, he does have <coughs> a Slanesh symbol cut into his back. Uh, in the law, uh, in the description, it does say that he is a willing uh, participant in this uh, duet. And uh, it does look like he is uh, very much a part of this duet. Although it doesn't look like he's enjoying himself anymore. Uh, so that's the back. And that's the front. And you, and you can see, um, it is a multi-part kit. He can uh, have uh, a different head if you have a suitable part for it. So that's the front of his body and his head uh, is on that part of the sprue. And if I give you if I give you a, a closer look at his head you'll find that uh, he appears to be without a mouth. Um, so in some cases it was speculated that he was probably screaming as uh, the uh, Enrapturous is plucking at his um, strings, but I think the music actually does come straight from the strings, um, law-wise, uh, anyway. Um, and then you see his two legs uh, sort of in a squatting uh, position right there. Um, even the legs come as individual pieces. I don't think we'll be able to sort of uh, part swap the legs. They are in a very unique and and uh, specific pose. Um, but if you were going to sort of kit bash this, he could possibly be some kind of a tortured uh, victim in another in another uh, um, miniature in in your own kit bashed miniature. Now, um, what I do like about uh, uh, this uh, poor man is the sculpt of his toes y you really do see the level of detail coming out the latest models uh, from GW uh, you see his toes even splayed out pressed pressured against the ground and I think that is very very unique and beautiful and um, it's not something that we've seen before in, in any prior uh, miniature so this is a very very nice sculpt just going by our uh, our harp man alone um, and i haven't even gone into detail on his harp portion now if i were to give you a better look at um, the strings you'll see that they do come off his back and shoulders 
and into this sort of a uh, uh, rigid rigid framework of a hub very beautiful and um, what you'll see on the upper right hand corner is a space for an icon of Slanesh which uh, appears thusly right there and I think this is is quite nice although if I were to uh, sort of nitpick I don't like the way his fingers are wrapped around uh, the framework of the hub I don't think they're very clearly defined um, I, especially this part it does imply that the harp was grown out of his forearms and are sticking out of his wrists um, however I don't think it's very clearly defined of course you can probably um, make this more pronounced uh, when you go into the painting uh, of your model but I do wish that they had done that in in a sort of more uh, more graceful way so to speak um, but no complaints so far um, although I will uh, expect to have a bit of trouble removing this from the sprue uh, without damaging it in any way and I would have to caution anyone who buys this uh, uh, miniature and, and receives this sprue uh, to be very careful at that. And now let's move on uh, to our en uh, Enrapturus and you'll see that the Enrapturus does come in many parts um, her skirt itself comes in one, two, uh, three portions it seems with uh, a remaining piece that's actually part of her leg and um, her body appears to be right there so you do see quite a, a beautiful sculpt as well you see that her midriff is exposed uh, the front of her cloak is, is hanging open and she does have some manner of uh, armor as well and uh, if I were to go a little bit closer she does have some manner of uh, a, what would appear to be a loin cloth uh, there that's her back uh, also very nice subtle sculpt in the the uh, arch of her back and sort of seeing her shoulder blades even slightly protruding out from her back I think this is very nice it does uh, really impart a lot of subtlety uh, to the to the model and I think that's a very very good touch um, all in all you see as you go through this model you start to see more and more details that you really do love her hand is a separate piece which is beautiful which is something that I really wanted uh, to start to see more separate pieces in these multi-part uh, models especially with that very nice finger positioning uh, of the hand and that's her left hand and her right hand as many of you will know from the uh, the previews uh, is a claw uh, it's also uh, a multi-part is also an individual part which means that you can sort of swap um, uh, components with her um, a lot of the uh, direction that I'm going with with my modeling as you'll see in my videos it does uh, take the form of part swapping and kit bashing so this is um, an aspect that I, I always like to explore and emphasize on uh, let's move on to her head and you'll see here that she does have uh, I would say um, a rather nice head although um, it is far more demonic than let's say the older Jess Goodwin um, metal uh, demonets where they are very feminine and very um, sort of uh, alluring and these more have more of like an un unsettling horror about them which is not a bad thing um, but I do have several uh, sort of um, daughters of Cain figures that I will be swapping heads uh, with some of my demonets and this one's no different I do like um, the head uh, a lot and especially that the head has this um, section uh, for the set of horns rising out from the left side of the head I think this is beautiful so I haven't decided whether I'm going to use this head or not for my project but um, I am leaning towards uh, using using the head as is we'll see as we go along 
So uh, that's uh, the head of uh, our Enrapturus. There are a few other small parts along the way. And before I move on to them, you'll see that the head does have a long train, a long uh, sort of ponytail of sorts, which again is also fairly well detailed. You can see every braid is very well detailed and individual braids have strands of hair and grooves uh, molded into them as well. Um, it doesn't come in just one part. There is another part on the sprue right there as well. And if I give you a close look, you'll see that they are fairly, uh, fairly nicely uh, detailed. Um, I see a couple of horns and claws along the way and I would expect that they are actually part of the Enrapturus' uh, feet, um, I think. If I were to look a little bit closer, you'll see that this foot only has one claw, um, and I would suppose that this would probably need a couple more um, components attached to it. Um, I will be going by the photos of the Enrapturus to know how to put this thing together. Although this did come with instructions, as you all well know, I can't read, so it doesn't matter. I'll be looking at the pictures. Now, um, all in all, uh, I'm completely satisfied uh, with, this, uh, with this sprue. Uh, I will be very, very happy to build it as is. However, I will be taking liberties with some of the design and sort of bringing it to a more 40K-esque uh, sort of aesthetic with just some small touches here and there. Uh, I play exclusively 40K and I would like this to look um, suitable in that sort of uh, universe. Uh, however, in the realm of chaos, it is of course timeless and you can probably get away with just using it as is in, in 40k. I won't. Uh, I, I like the modeling part of this hobby. Um, I would argue I, would li I like the modeling part of this hobby most of all, uh, which is why I, I try to take my time um, with, the, with the modeling. So, um, yes, uh, I had expected a lot from this model, and I think it it's, uh, met my expectations in every way um, no regrets uh, purchasing this miniature and i will be very happy uh, to even go into detail uh, on the other parts of the wrath and rapture set very soon you'll see the new fiends of slanash making an appearance um, next week so thank you all and please let me know in the comment section below how i can do a better job of sprue review and also if you feel so inclined, do visit my Patreon to help me keep this channel going. Uh, it has been a pleasure so far. It's only been two weeks uh, since I started this channel, but I have received a fairly interesting comments and um, a fair amount of encouragement from everyone. And I do wish to continue doing this. It is a very important part of my life to know that I am part of this community. So I thank you very much, and I do look forward to seeing you again. Have a nice day. Until next time.